Hello everyone, John from RCD here. Thanks for joining me. This will be a complete review of the E-Flight Adagio 280. I can only guess that I'm pronouncing Adagio correctly. That's the way I'm going to keep saying it throughout the video. This Bind and Fly Basic motorized glider comes in at 180 bucks. You get the plane just about set to fly. Just add your radio, battery, and charger. And the recommended battery is a 3S450 milliamp pack. I will be using the DX18 radio as usual. The model comes in at 12 and a half ounces, has a 56 inch wingspan, and is powered by a 280 size 1260 kV brushless outrunner motor spinning an 8x4 folding prop. Rounding out the electronics is a 10 amp ESC, an AR6335 6 channel nanolite receiver with AS3X, and they include the bind plug for the receiver, and you also get six 3.5 gram digital servos. The assembly is minimal. Simply slide the carbon wing spar in place, attach the wings and connect the servo leads to the Y connectors for ailerons and flaps. Fix the wings in place with the two small screws. The flaps needed a small amount of adjustment at the U-bend to get them completely even. The ailerons required no adjustment. Use a little foam safe CA to glue the horizontal stabilizer to the fuselage. Be careful not to get any glue on the elevator or the hinge. Once the horizontal stabilizer is glued, go ahead and connect the clevis to the control horn. I did need to adjust the clevis some until the elevator was neutral with the horizontal stabilizer. This was pretty quick and easy to do. After the model is bound, you are ready to go. Hand launching is very easy. I used about a half to two thirds throttle with a gentle push and the model would climb away very nicely. You can also do an unpowered hand toss as long as you are pretty quick to get on the throttle because the model will start to drop. So you can launch it basically unpowered or full powered, take your pick. The model gains altitude very easily under power, and with the 450 packs, I was getting about five minutes of power. So if you use much of that time for climbing to altitude and then gliding, you can have some pretty long flight times. The model does have a very nice glide, and if you are an experienced glider pilot, I am sure you'll be able to find some thermals and spec out the plane, keep it in the air for quite some time. Initially, I did find the model to be a little bit nose heavy with the pack all the way at the back of the battery compartment. So I did place it a little bit further back into the fuselage and that helped a bit. The model flew great, I didn't have any big issues with it, but it was just a little bit nose heavy for my liking. The Adagio performs graceful aerobatics and with the contrasting top and bottom is very easy to follow in the sky. It also flies quite well inverted. The flaps are very helpful with landing as the model does like to carry. I found that half flaps were plenty adequate to slow the model down for some nice landings. Full flaps will essentially arrest the model completely within the air in about three or four feet. So once that happens, it's going to drop straight down. So be prepared for that. If you deploy full flaps anywhere greater than a foot or two off the ground, be prepared to push the nose down to keep some airspeed going. Otherwise your model is going to basically come straight on down. I do have a new respect for glider pilots who do spot landings. You can watch plenty of videos on that on YouTube. That's a skill that clearly requires a lot of practice, but with the Adagio, it's fun to work on it. I have plenty of less than ideal landings when getting used to the flaps and the speed. And despite dropping the nose into the ground a number of times, the front end held up great with no problems with the spinner, motor, or propeller. Overall, the Adagio is a very fun powered glider. It allows you to cruise the sky looking for thermals or perform some nice basic glider aerobatics. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up or subscribe. I always appreciate that quite a bit, and I will see you next time.